Uh, good morning, everybody. Back at it again. Today we're over here in Barbersville, West Virginia. Just looking for them gold trout. Hopefully we can strike some gold today, but from the census of everybody I've talked to so far, it's not been really good. I'm going to try some different things today, and maybe we can get on. Y'all stick around. This morning we're starting out. We got some Potsky fireballs. But I have some that are chartreuse with a garlic scent. And then I have some that are kind of a yellowish orange color, but I guess they're just a normal natural scent. I've got them out there on the bottom. I think something just bumped them a second ago. I wasn't really paying attention. I was setting the camera up and I looked down and I seen the end of my rod bounce. So Something found them. Might be a bluegill and it could be one of them goldens we're after. Who knows, but we're gonna give it our best shot anyway. Um, on my other pole here, I've got my jig on there. I've got an orange power worm, tipping it with a mealworm. Fishing it probably about three foot deep maybe about four. Uh, this lake's only average depth is about five foot deep. It's a 12 acre lake, but it's not deep. The maximum depth in this lake is 10 foot. And I think it's more out way toward the middle, but everywhere else around the edges and stuff like that. Like I said, the average depth in here is five foot deep. Uh, I think the city of Barsville built this lake back in like 1991. Uh, beautiful park beautiful lake. I really enjoy coming out here. But like I said, everybody here said since they put those fish in here, it's been a little rough to get on them. But hopefully they were just waiting for me to get here. But we'll find out. Well guys, we made a quick move. My keen sense of observation and my spidey senses and the fact that I've seen about 12 fish jump over here has made me decide to move over here. So hopefully we can get at least one of these little buggers. Or something. But they're hard to catch. They don't bite real well. But I have seen some of them jumping here, so that at least gives us a chance or gives us some hope. <sighs> Let's just hope the good Lord's with us today, and he blesses our lures, and he gets us some of these trout on here. I've been calling these golden trout, but they're not a true golden trout. They're actually a golden rainbow. The state of West Virginia started this out originally, and they started mixing and made it to where these rainbow trout have an orangish gold collar and got a pretty pink little stripe going down them. Some people call them palominos. Some people call them uh, golden rainbows. But either way it goes, they're a really pretty fish. They're, they're kind of rare to catch and the reason that this pond let's see, I had a bite, sorry. The reason that they do this, they call this the gold rush. So just like this lake and several other lakes around the state, they come and they stock all golden rainbows for the stocking that time. 
again, just because the pond's full of them does not mean that they're easy to catch. Sometimes you can get on them, you can catch them pretty good if you're lucky. But just like my dad, he's been here two or three days and he hasn't caught one. I got something out there that keeps messing with me, but there's a good chance it's a blue get Oh! He just took it down and let it back up. There's a good chance it's probably just a bluegill eating my mealworm off. Oh, and I missed it. So there's a good chance it's just a bluegill, but it could be one of those trout too, because they've been jumping like crazy out there. Let's uh, pull her in here and access the damage. Yep, got my worm off, little weasel. I got one, boys. Holy freaking crap, I can't believe it. I just put a new worm on there and threw it out there. He started bouncing it. And I set the hook and I seen him roll. Oh, wow, boys. Check this beautiful thing out. We have struck gold, boys. Look at that beautiful fish. Ain't that something? He absolutely swallowed that power worm. But holy crap, guys, I'm so excited. You don't even know. This is probably like the third one of these I've ever caught. But he swallowed it, so he's going to have to go home with us. Sucks, but at least I caught one. I didn't have to sit here three days to do it, Dad. <laughs> Guys, I got something else. I don't know what it is yet, but I got something. Oh, big old bluegill. That's all right. That's all right. Check him out. Thought we might have had another goatee. I was getting a little excited. <laughs> but you never know. You never know. At least we got our one. Been throwing it freaking as far as I can get it out there because they are way out in there. Oh. Let's see if we can get something else. Another fish on. Probably another bluegill. Staying down. I can't see what it is. No, it's another goldie. All right. All right. All right, all right, all right. Hot diggity dog. It is another goldie, boys. Look at these beautiful fish. God, they're so amazing. Look at the collars. All right, guys. Whew, I'm getting excited. They're biting just like bluegills. I throw that out there, and the barber just bounce, 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 bounce. Bounce, 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 bounce. And they're kind of just kind of just walk off a little bit. I mean, they're not really slamming it, but they're just kind of picking at it like a bluegill. It's really weird. But we struck gold twice. And I am happy, happy, happy. <laughs> Got another fish on, boys. Oh. Oh, what is that? That's not a goldie. Little catfish. <laughs> Catching a variety of everything today. Look at that little guy. 
<laughs> Caught two goldies, three bluegills, and that catfish. At least the bobber's going down. Can't complain too bad about that. Oh shoot, there's already something hit. He's done with it. It's got the worm off. Well guys, the action slowed down a little bit, but good Lord definitely did bless our lures today. Remember I said that in the beginning? He's gave me two of those beautiful golden trout so far. He gave me several bluegills and even a little catfish. Guys, anytime you can come out and catch some fish like that, that's a bonus, but I'll tell you what, he, he's really been blessing me. He's allowing me to share my adventures through this YouTube channel. He's bringing all you great people into my life. And you're all showing me so much support. I was just going through my phone a minute ago and I've seen two more comments from some people telling me that they love my videos and they was glad they could support my channel. And you guys, you just don't know how much that means to me. I really appreciate you guys. I really do. I hope I can keep bringing y'all some good content. There's something on here again. Oh, it's another Goldie, boys. Hell yeah. I mean, heck yeah. Look at that. Man, I am telling you what, boys and girls. The Lord has blessed me tremendously today. I cannot. I cannot believe it. Just sat here and was telling everybody how hard it is to catch these beautiful fish and how hard it is to get on them. And the Lord has already blessed me with three of them. I'll tell you what, guys. I don't know what to say. That's something else. Hope it's another goldie. It is another goldie. Oh, he come off. There you go. Oh, we had another goldie, but he just got off. Dad gone. My dad's coming down the walk now. <laughs> Man, I tell you what, this has turned out to be a pretty good day. We're really liking this. It's an orange peel power worm. <sighs> well, that was number four. Uh, we got another one, guys. It's another Goldie. I already seen him come up out there. Here, 
Number five. Gosh, I'm telling you, it's been an amazing day out here. You see Dad behind me? He knows it's been an amazing day too. <laughs> See, look, hey, I bring him down here, and what does he do? He steals my fish. Here I thought that tangled up. Size they stocked most of them that big. Yeah, that's what we're using. Fish on. Said so sit here for five minutes and retie everything. It all got tangled up. Oh, another beautiful little gold. Did you just see how it thinned up? Yeah. Just wobble, wobble. Just wobble like a baby. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> well, guys, we had a great trip. I caught my limit of the hardest fish there is to catch. I mean, I cannot believe it. Like I said, Dad has fished here for three days straight. Hasn't caught one. This is the first time I've got a chance to come out. And I caught six. Like I told you guys, the Lord blessed me today. Plain and simple. Didn't have nothing to do with skill. Didn't have nothing to do with anything. It was the Lord that blessed me today. Dad come down and he caught one. Uh, then his wife called. He's on the way to go pick her up from work. So since I caught my limit here in West Virginia, I'm going to go back and meet up with Dad. And we're heading out to Timber Ridge in Ohio to see if we can't get another limit. They won't be the goldies like these, but they'll be the rainbows. But you guys stick around, and we'll see you out there. God bless you.